I walk into the Big Brother Canada house, and immediately I'm attacked by this five-foot wind-up doll that just doesn't stop. I'm 30 seconds into this game. I'm already being attacked. Why am I not surprised? Oh What's going on, guys? Oh, my God. That is it. Who's ready to get coached up? Let's go. I know Dan from season 10 to season 14, Big Brother USA, so it's cool. But at the same time, I'm thinking, what's going on? Hi, hi. What's your name? Darius. Darius. Dan. Dan, I know you, you sneaky little backstabbing devil, you. <laughs> so my name's Dan. I'm 29, and I won season 10 of Big Brother. I won 7 0. And then I came back last season, made it to the end as a coach, and I lost 6 1. I love Dan. Dan is one of my favorite players. This guy hosted his own funeral. I came back. Dan is amazing. And he's in the house. I just have to touch you, so you're real. I'm real, I'm real. And you mentioned something about a funeral? Yeah, you came back. I have a special announcement for you guys. <gasps> so. Uh... I'm a little bit skeptical of this thing. I don't know what's going to happen. And I'm thinking, Dan being in this house is not going to benefit me. All right. I'm dressed in all black for a reason. Not because it's my funeral, but it's because of one of your funerals. Big Brother's granted me the power to evict one of you guys tonight. I've been spending the last few weeks working on people getting them to think the way I want them to think. Now some rando decides to show up and send one of us home. Ah, oh, this is a load of crap. After the twist of Gary coming back, I'm ready for anything at this point. Anytime in this game someone comes up here and wants to talk to you all as a group, lesson number one, never let it happen. Because I'm here to tell you, you've all been missed it. None of you guys are getting voted out. I'm messing with your heads. Let's, let's group hug it up. So mad at him. My heart was beating so fast. Everyone laughed and hugged him. And I just walked away into the storage room because I was like, that is not funny. I was mad. I was like, that's just stupid. Don't stress me out, Well, let's that's go get the defibrillators. Make sure she's all right. Oh, my God. I can't believe this did that. It's like the scariest thing ever. Okay? Shit like that stresses me out so much. I like that. It was good. I like that. Having a new person in the house, there could be some benefits. And, you know, having him here, I'm probably going to pick his brain. Tell me that. Let's go in here. Tell me that. Yeah, tell me that. I got evicted. Everyone was already speculating. Dan's this really smart player, and I was like, oh my god, Dan's gonna teach me how to be bad. <laughs> so tell me where you're at right now. Right now, right now, they thought they were final four, so y'all hate me. Okay. Okay. But what about like game wise? Where, like, game wise, they all know I'm a strong player, and like, they want me out. When I first met Gary, you're hit with a big personality, like a Mack truck. Behind all the glitter, there's a gamer in there, and I also think a backstabber. I'm just gonna try and bring it out of him. I had a really strong trust with Emmett, but I went to jury, so I know, the tr I know the truth. You've been there. You have a tremendous amount of information. Yeah. Gary needs to use his jury house information to select the best final two partner. That way, he can control if he actually wins or not. No one else can do that. So what I'm trying to do right now is get in Emmett's head and get him to drop his showmance. So you would want Jillian out. That's what you would do. Is there any possible scenario for that to happen this week? If Tala won and took me off, then there's only one option. Jillian. So I think Gary's best move is to align with Tala and start getting out one of the big power players left in this game. <laughs> Dan really got me thinking, but at the end of the day, it all comes down to this veto. Woo! Today's UV competition is hosted by Dan! There's a lot on the line at this point in the game. We're down to the final five. If you win this veto, you're that much closer to the money. And this veto competition, it doesn't come down to who's the strongest or smartest. It's about who wants it the most. And I love seeing that passion come out in a competition like this. Welcome to the biggest veto competition of the season. I know you all want this, but we're about to find out just how bad you really want it. This competition is called the Price of Veto, and here's how it works. You will each start with 30 points, and I will give you nine offers that will either be a prize or a punishment. To add points to your score, you will have to accept punishments, but you will also have the opportunity to give up points to accept the prize. To accept the offer, be the first person to buzz in. The house guest who ends up with the most points will win the power of veto. Does everyone understand? Yeah. yeah. The stakes have never been so high. Like
Like, if I don't win the power of veto this week, I will be going home. I'm on the block this week, so winning the POV is very important to me as a competitor. This is going to be a difficult challenge because we can't see who buzzes for what. We also won't find out who wins until the very end when all the points are tallied. I need to win this POV so bad to ensure that I don't go up on the block. I need to win something around here. It's getting frustrating. It's getting ridiculous. I'm not impressed. Here is the first offer. Who is willing to cut up the clothes they are wearing directly after this competition to earn five points? What did I just do? What am I wearing underneath this? Offer number two. Is anyone willing to be a have-not for the rest of the season to earn six points? Have-not for the rest of the season? It looks like I'm going to be a broomstick by the time I leave this house. Bing! Who is willing to wear a prison suit and carry around a ball and chain for the rest of the week to earn seven points? I'm hitting the button, but I'm just not fast enough. I'm willing to take any of these punishments if it means winning the veto and get myself off the block. Offer number four. To have a slot pass for the rest of the season, who is willing to give up five points? So as soon as I heard slot pass, I just buzz it and take it, not realizing that, uh, I think I just gave up my points. Offer number five. Who is willing to stay awake for 24 hours to earn seven points? My strategy going into this was... You know what? I'm going to make it seem like I want to get the punishments, you know, to help my alliance members out. Buttons here. Bam, I slapped the wood to make it seem like I tried for it. Who is willing to be the house bathroom attendant for the day to earn six points? Offer number seven. In order to win $1,000 cash, who is willing to give up nine points? All I can think about is the money prize. I don't need to win this veto. I'm going to let them battle out. May the best man win. Who is willing to go the rest of the week without showering? And that includes access to the pool or hot tub to earn nine points. Someone else is obviously taking these punishments, but I just want to win this veto, so I, I want my light to shine. Offer number nine, and this is our last offer. Dan says this is the last question, so I have to jump on this one if I have any chance of winning the veto. Who is willing to accept a haircut of Big Brother's choice to earn 11 points? Eureka, I finally got one. 11 points, at least it's a big one. Hopefully it took it away from somebody else that I didn't want it to win. The competition's over, and I'm running the numbers in my head, and I'm hoping that I've taken enough punishment because this could be a close game, and I'm scared from the life. I'm scared from the life. It's time to reveal the punishments and prizes. Let's find out if someone was willing to cut up their clothes to earn five points. Yes, please step forward. <laughs> Obviously, I'm really shy to give the boys a show, but I mean, I'm going to be getting that to my bra and panties in front of Darren Giesling. All the men in Canada are waiting for you to do this. Oh, yeah. Uh, I couldn't have thought of anybody better to do it, except for maybe Jillian. <laughs> is that painting you to cut that shirt up? I love this shirt. Uh, you don't know the skirt. This is brand new. Damn it. Uh, I love my shirt. Emmett and Andrew seem to be enjoying this a I little love too it. much. <laughs> <laughs> for a couple of reasons. <laughs> oh! What do you know, Lala was pissed. It's her favorite shirt. I was just pissed because she wore uh, kind of like these shorty shorts. I was looking for something a little bit more uh, revealing. Shut up right now. Don't even. All right. Let's see if someone was willing to wear a prison suit for the rest of the week to earn seven points. Yes, please step forward. Ah. Congratulations, Gary. Let's get your prison gear on. Okay. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to rock whatever's thrown at me. If wearing a prison suit means another week in this house, you better give me that prison suit, honey. <laughs> this makes me look so wide. Look how huge I look. I think this is a perfect punishment for Gary. Gary changes his clothes 15 times a day. This is hilarious. And this is, in his words, a fashion crime. Wow. Congratulations, Gary. Enjoy your prison suit. <laughs> And I definitely want to introduce you guys to my new friend. His name's Billy the Ball. And you know what? 
We're dating. Someone's going to be staying up all night, but they earn seven points in the process. Stay up all night? I'm a night owl anyway. I'll just stare and think about who needs to go home this week. Offer number eight. Was someone willing to give up showers and the hot tub and the pool for the rest of the week in exchange for earning nine points? You're going to have a smelly house guest. Please tell me that Emmett did not buzz in for not showering because if that was the case, our showmance is over. <laughs> for the ninth and final offer, was anyone willing to get a haircut in exchange for winning 11 points? Let's get the Clippers ready. Someone's getting a Big Brother style haircut right now. Please step forward. Andrew, congratulations, my man. Thank you. I'm hoping I get a haircut just a little bit off the sides, a little bit on the back, uh, clean up the neck, something like that. You ever done this before? No. Perfect. Just a nice trim for the barber. That's it. Ah! <laughs> I think he's doing a superb job. You would say that. Put on some clothes, for God's sake. I took Andrew's head and made it a masterpiece. I'm pretty impressed with my handiwork. Dan, you're doing a really good job. Hey, Tyler, try shut it. up. Try it. <laughs> you know, before this haircut, I wouldn't have considered Andrew handsome. Now, after my haircut, he's looking a lot better. Right, Guys, what do you think? Right. Good sport, my friend. Thank you. Congratulations on that fresh cut. Andrew's haircut's hilarious. He kind of looks like a punk rocker type dude. That's funny. Emmett. You can't get a pretty boy haircut like me, huh? You, you talking to me? Huh? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Are you, are you talking to me? Huh? Now it's time to find out who won the power of veto. I don't know if I have enough points. I'm trying to do the math in my head. I'm just hoping that this haircut is going to put me over the top uh, so that I can win this veto. Yeah. I'm hoping I've taken enough punishments because I really need to win this veto. The winner of the power of veto is congratulations ah! I feel like I am an unstoppable force in this house and I'm so happy that I won the power of veto and it's just like it just feels freaking amazing congratulations <laughs> oh, damn! it seems like nobody tried in this POV I mean I'm literally doing four of the nine things I don't care if I have to wear this prisoner outfit. I mean, I'm a have-not for the rest of the season. I'm staying up for 24 hours. I'm not showering for a whole week. I mean, if I haven't proved that I want to be here in this game, I don't know what proves it more. Yay! <laughs> what do you know? Gary has won the power of veto. I'm not happy. Um, it's the worst-case scenario for the East Coast Alliance. Gary's safe. I guess Lala's going to be up there next to me, and there's a chance it could be going home. Why? After winning this POV, Gary's become a big threat in this game, so I need to keep him close. 